The thing about these luxury glamping ideas I found on Amazon is that they're not obvious, but oh, the impact they'll make when you want to bring luxury to the great outdoors. Hi, I'm Randy, and every Thursday I help you make big memories in small campers, and Thursdays are my favorite days because we get to hang out together. The first thing I found was this inflatable couch. Having the comforts of your living room out in nature, yep, I could see snuggling up on this under the stars while sitting around a campfire or reading a book surrounded by nature. But what really made this intriguing for me is that it's inflatable, so it won't take up a lot of storage space. Imagine hauling your living room couch into the wilderness without the need for a moving truck or three friends complaining the whole time. That's the magic of this inflatable couch. Here's the thing, I do a lot of camping and I've never seen a couch like this at a campsite. <laughs> what do you think? Is this taking luxury camping a little too far? Or is it a really cool glamping idea? Let me know what you think. It's got a lot of good ratings, so people must love it. The next thing I found is this love seat. And I've seen this at campsites before. And I've actually sat on one and I was surprised how comfortable it was. Once again, another way to have snuggle time. Because at the end of the day, isn't that what it's all about? Making every moment count one snuggle at a time. Yep, spending time in the great outdoors can be romantic. But don't forget those marshmallows for roasting because nothing really says love like sharing a s'more, right? I put my Amazon affiliate link in the video description below. That way it's gonna be easy for you to find these things on Amazon. Plus, using these links helps support my channel. So. Thank you very much. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you which one of these things is my favorite. But I also wanna know which one you love the most. So let me know in the comment, comments, comments, comments. Oh my gosh, I can't talk today. So please let me know what your favorite one was in the comment section below. The next glamping idea I found on Amazon are these orb lanterns. I just think they look cool, but they're cordless and it also has an attached rope, so you can virtually hang them anywhere. I think this light can create a nice ambiance and transform any outdoor space into a cozy, magical setting. So with this lantern, you're not just lighting up your campsite, but you're also setting the mood for an enchanted evening. But just when you thought our glamping nights couldn't get any more magical, I found the Luma Noodle. These aren't just any lights because they're five feet of flexible lighting. So they can be creatively used to light up various outdoor settings, but the ability to wrap it around objects for customizable lighting can be a game changer for setting the mood. Yes, I think the Luma Noodle would add a glampifying touch. Glampifying, I think I just made up a new word. <laughs> It's all about these little additions that will take glamping to the next level. Next are these picnic table and bench covers. Almost every campsite that I've ever camped at has a picnic table, but who knows what the people before us had put on them. These covers not only add a pop of color to your campsite, but also keep you from guessing what sticky substance you just put your elbow in. Because mystery campsite goo is one adventure we can all do without. Next up is the only item that's not available on Amazon. Let me introduce you to the ultimate wardrobe staple for all you glamping lovers, the Glampon t-shirt. It's not just any tea, it's your badge of honor. Proudly declaring your love for the glamping style. Why is it so fun to wear? Well, it's like telling the world, yes, I love the great outdoors, but I prefer my adventures with a side of luxury. And when you're not glamping, this t-shirt brings a touch of the wild to your everyday life. I designed this t-shirt along with other fun camping and other adventurous t-shirts, like the one I'm wearing right now. Camp Queen. <laughs> okay, that was fun to share with you, but the next item is a very innovative. If you're a tent camper or you just wanna sleep under the stars on an inflatable couch, you might like to have the convenience of a portable sink, which brings a piece of home comforts to the outdoors. <laughs> next is another lighting idea, but this one's different. It's a portable motion sensor. It's got a flexible tripod base, 
so you can set it on anything or wrap it around anything. What a great way to automatically light up your campsite when someone enters it to provide an after dark safety convenience. It has a 20 second auto shut off or you can switch to the always on mode when you need additional light. Like when you pull into your campsite at night or you wanna take your dog for a late night walk. This next glamping idea is for all you beer lovers out there because this growler is like carrying a mini brewery in your backpack. So if the idea of fresh carbonated beer, home brews, or even nitro coffee on the go sounds refreshing, this will make a fun addition to any glamping trip. Just fill it up, attach the tap and regulator, and four. Okay, let's have some more fun with these porta potty shot glasses. Yeah, drinking from a porta potty made me laugh. Oh my gosh. In this picture, they say it's a hit on my Insta. I bet it is. I'm sure they're an entertaining conversation starter and would make fun gifts for family and friends who enjoy camping and glamping. This is the slap wrap that you slap on a can or a bottle to keep your drink chilled. But with a push of a button, it lights up and glows. Or you can set it to flash mode. This can be especially useful for keeping track of your drink in the dark or adding a fun glowing element to the night. Another fun way to jazz things up. And if you need a place to set your drink, these portable beverage holder stakes are perfect. I like the convenience of having a secure place to set down drinks just about anywhere outdoors. This could also help prevent some spills because nope, you don't want a messy glamping space. Okay, the next item is a camping chair, but it's certainly not an ordinary camping chair. It's a heated camping chair. There have been several chilly nights I wish I had had this chair to keep me warm, but it also has some fancy things I like on my camping chairs. I'm talking about a cup holder, a place for my phone, and it has a side storage pouch, but there is more. It also has an adjustable backrest and because it's padded it looks so comfortable this next chair also caught my attention because it also looks so comfy it's an oversized moon round saucer shape for an extra large area which would be nice when I'm snuggling up with my camping buddy Thor but it also has a removable footrest all you need is a pillow because I'm really thinking nap time here okay I've used this next product a lot and it's a really fun way to jazz up your campfires you just throw a bag onto your fire and it magically creates vibrant and captivating colors people always stop by and comment when they see the colored flames this can be a simple way to make your evenings more memorable and visually stunning now i love playing games so i had to share these glamping bingo cards what a fun way to enjoy time together while you're out glamping. Do you love playing games as much as I do? Next up is a portable ceiling fan. Summers can get so hot, so wouldn't it be nice to have a fan that you can hang up to create a little breeze to cool yourself down to make those warm nights more comfortable? Okay, it's time to reveal the thing that I love the most, but I couldn't decide between the Orb Lantern and the Luminoodle. I think both of these would really add a lot of pizzazz and glampify my campsite. But how about you? I'm really excited to hear your thoughts and hear which one of these glamping items was your favorite. But the fun's not over. I did a previous video with even more fun glamping ideas that you gotta watch next. I'll leave a link to that video right up here and I'll also leave it in the video description below in case you don't see it up here. Well, that's a wrap and I can't wait to see you again next Thursday.